Welcome back, new privacy setting for you in this devlog. Uh, this time it's XF image metadata. And so let's show you how that setting works. If we head on over to settings, you'll see that we have now a setting called strip uh, image XF data. I'm still working on the locale text here. I wanna make it clear that it's only XF image data that we support. So I might just drop metadata on the end because some other types of metadata might be hidden or not supported. So I don't wanna make claims that are too broad, um, but there we go. Uh, you'll see when this is enabled, when you import files into Resonate that contain metadata, uh, XIF, that metadata will be deleted before it's made available to Resonate. So if I go ahead and turn this on, and then I show you some stuff on my computer. So over here, I have uh, two files here that are originals, and uh, we'll be using trees because I just used waterfall in a previous take. Uh, but this is an application that shows the image metadata in an image file. So you'll see that both trees and waterfall have very similar metadata because they came straight from my um, Google Photo account, uh, which was a, uh, had photos taken from a Google Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, so you'll see there's an image maker manufacturer, there's a time and date, um, all sorts of camera settings, and then also the GPS coordinates of the picture where it was taken. Um, and this is the bit here that is uh, worrying to privacy-minded folks who would rather that, that didn't get exposed to Resonate or exposed to other session uh, users. And so if you go ahead and turn this setting on, then um, when you import an image, which I will now do, like I said, we're going to be using the uh, original tree image. There you go, that's the tree image. I can then re-export this back out to uh, the from Resonate folder. And we will call this exported underscore trees. And then if I, now you didn't see any of that importing or exporting because I had everything shown in. Okay, well, I don't need to show you how to import and export a file. That's what I just did, right? But I turned that setting on, which you also couldn't see. Let me show the setting again. Devlog, devlog, devlog. Remember, this is a devlog. All right. <laughs> this setting right here, we turned it on. And everything I said is still true, just exif. All right. Now I can turn back on the file viewers. And we can uh, take a look. So if we go uh, into from Resonite, you'll now see that we have the exported waterfall and the exported trees. We go to the metadata viewer here and we swap it to the from Resonate folder here. Then you'll see that both of these, uh, actually you know, the waterfall does not, uh, does contain metadata and that's because I exported it when the setting was off and the exported trees, which I just did, I know it was covered, but just did it, uh, it doesn't have metadata. So what that's shown here in like a roundabout way is that uh, with this setting on, that metadata will be removed, but the image will still function otherwise. Um, key things to note about this is like, A, I'm still working on the wording. Um, B, it's only when you import images, no other step will, will handle this. So existing images on Resonite might have EXIF data in it. Uh, so keep that one in mind. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'll see you next time. Bye.